Well, good morning to everybody. Happy Mother's Day to those of you that are mothers and to those of you that have faced adversity in motherhood. Uh, I want to let you know that my thoughts and prayers are with you and um, thinking about you guys too. Either, you know, lost a mother or lost a child uh, can be so devastating. But, um, anyhow, I got to get ready for church in just a little bit. But I was um, taking care of the chickens and walking Buddy this morning. And Jack gifted me with these most beautiful flowers. I'll throw a picture up and a card. And we were eating breakfast. And I was like, I got to come out here. Well, on my plum... Uh, there was a little plum at the base of it down here, and uh, I noticed a lot of squirrel activity. Buddy was chasing squirrels. And I thought, uh-oh, so I grabbed that, I know it was actually semi-soft, so um, that made me think I better do the squeeze test. If you have fruit trees, you know what the squeeze test is. And I came over here. Let me show you how to do the squeeze test. <laughs> like this. And this nectarine is very soft. Uh, this one I can't get to. Hold on, I'm going to put you guys down and then come to you. Okay, hopefully you guys can see me better now. There we go. A little bit more centered. <laughs> All right. The big reveal. <laughs> this thing's probably ready to get rid of its jacket too. Oh my goodness. Okay, not perfect, but mmm, you might leave that one. You know what? Actually, I'm not. They can finish up inside the house because they are just, they're like just a, yeah, there's some softness, but not really. They're not rock hard. This one's a little harder. Yeah. Anyhow, in the next day or two, they'll be perfect. But rather than risk the squirrels getting them, you know, I got to pick them. Oh, yeah. These right here, they're ready to go right now. Oh, yeah. That's a, this one right here is a today nectarine. Ooh, yeah ready to be eaten right now this is a uh, sun red nectarine um, if you don't know uh, much about my fruit trees I just did a garden tour on my fruit trees in my yard and so I can't believe I was I was not expecting this to happen today oh my I bet the squirrels can definitely smell these in the air. I'm going to leave that one. I'm going to take some of these outer ones and leave the inner ones to continue. Oh, isn't that beautiful? They're small. We've been in drought the whole time they've been going. Um, let's see. Do I have any more big, big ones? Oh, yeah. Way in this corner. It's hard to tell. This netting is doing its job. Okay, let's go ahead and let the last couple or few finish out here. But that way, the squirrels have not eaten everything of mine. In fact, I haven't lost one piece of fruit, knock on wood, um, to a squirrel this year, amazingly. Um, you know, still early in the season. But, you know, last year they were already ravaging my nectarines before before I even got down to one. <laughs> one left on the tree. Um, let's do the pinch test on the plums. Let's see if I can bring this down here a little bit. It's so high up. Okay, no, that's still pretty hard. This one's kind of hard too. I bet the other one just came off. We've had a lot of wind. So I'm thinking the wind just got it and knocked it off. These will be very soon. Oh my goodness. Hold on, there's a bright red one somewhere right here. 
nope nope so we're just gonna leave it at that with a bowl of about I don't know ten a dozen you guys can count put it on pause and count let me know in the comments below but anyhow I think we're just gonna end up with these nectarines for today and that's good enough for me just oh, this is awesome I'm gonna share it with the family as they ripen so you guys hope you have a wonderful Mother's Day take care God bless and I'll see you in the vi in the next video bye bye Very in there uh -huh. I just want to get a an idea okay Are you doing this? 